course, saying the last night that building and maintaining infrastructure is vital in order to can stabilize our economy and promote growth. He said more must be spent on infrastructure, as you had there, and production, and less on consumption and debt servicing. Well, what does this all mean? Uh, I've got in the studio with me from Royal Haskonen DHV. She's the director there, Sheila Carvalho. Good morning, Sheila. Thank you very much for coming through. Good morning, Dan. It's good to be here. Infrastructure, infra I mean, we hear this time and time and again. In my intro to the program at 9 o'clock, I said uh, the president for the first time referred to an implementation team that's been busy with uh, some of these things. How important is it that the government gets its act right around infrastructure development? Just an overriding question first. Well, it, it is quite critical, and there was a significant uh, focus on uh, infrastructure investment and development in, in the President's speech, and rightly so. Uh, we do require new infrastructure, but at the same time, the, the last 20 years have been largely around uh, new, much-needed infrastructure in neglected areas. The next 20 years must be about maximizing the existing infrastructure we have so that we can reap the benefits of what we've already spent. What would maximizing it involve? Well, uh, first and foremost, it requires a focus on uh, management and maintenance of our existing infrastructure. I mean, the common sense tells us that uh, it is much better to maintain than it is to repair, much better to repair than it is to replace. So uh, also uh, jumping on the president's statement around uh, fixing the fundamentals, we must get that right. But uh, we must start somewhere. We have big challenges. Yeah. What do we, I mean, the fundamentals in infrastructure, I mean, you, one of them, of course, as you said, is it's better to fix, maintain, than to, to start afresh and, and replace it. It's too, it's too costly. But if you look at the needs, you spoke about neglected areas, but there's new stuff that is required. I mean, like broadband, for example, that's a fairly new type of infrastructure. But we also need more power generation, for example. And you look at the Eastern Cape today. I mean, gift of the givers are on the ground there. We spoke to uh, earlier, gift of the givers on, on the channel. Water, there's a whole issue around water. Though. So there is so much infrastructure, different types that we require to build, but also to repair and maintain. Correct, correct. We have, however, extensively invested in infrastructure thus far, and it is critical that we make use of that infrastructure. Uh, but for, first and foremost, we have to know what we have. At the moment, uh, we don't have a clear understanding of our, our national assets and infrastructure, uh, much less the current state in which it is, or these are, and therefore we cannot manage what we don't know. So the first starting point is to get a clear view of this uh, state of infrastructure. And now we've got so much assets. Now he's speaking about a pipeline of potential investments of 700 billion rand over the next 10 years. That sounds like a big number and it's welcome because one would hope that because when you do infrastructure development, whether you're, you're maintaining, maximizing or, or, or repairing and building, you're creating jobs. Correct. Correct. And, and infrastructure development is an in, important pillar. In, 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 our, in our efforts as a country to grow the economy. No, absolutely. Not only infrastructure provision, but also the operation and maintenance of that infrastructure provides long-term possibility for job creation. Yeah, and if we are, we are failing in not maximizing, what other challenge are you, are you, are you hearing about or thinking that we are, we are not doing in terms of infrastructure development? Some people are saying we're not implementing fast enough. Absolutely. Uh, that is certainly a challenge because of uh, the, the significant need and uh, the current uh, uh, challenges we have in, in maintaining what we have. But uh, we do certainly have uh, opportunities to maximize by using technology. So the president also spoke largely around uh, technological, technological developments, the digital economy, the fourth industrial revolution, and that certainly presents us with a, a great opportunity to one, a leapfrog uh, in terms of the challenges we have, but also to provide us uh, or fill the gap uh, bridge the gap where we currently have in terms of the information we need to manage our infrastructure better, to then maximize the use and the benefit we get out of it. So technology provides us with a fantastic platform to be able to, to maximize and uh, meet those challenges. Yeah, when you mention technology, and I'm smiling because I'm thinking about his dream of a smart city. Now, as an engineer, when you hear him talk about this smart city that's going to come up in Lansida, what do you think? Well, it's certainly music to, to my ears because it's, uh, it's something that we have long uh, standing been looking at, uh, bridging uh, technology with our engineering, our infrastructure knowledge. And uh, as I said, uh, 
technological developments such as creating digital uh, replicas of our infrastructure, which can then enable us to make informed decisions, which then in, empower decision makers to make uh, fact-based decisions around what we need to plan, what we need to procure, budget for, uh, maintain and operate, really will provide us with a uh, um, much needed, um, let's say, tool. To, to, to leapfrog, as I mentioned. So technology is certainly a, a, a it's, weapon it's, it's in arms. It's a game changer, as Absolutely. people say. So, so green infrastructure, do you remember, is that, also, is that part, should that be part of the equation Absolutely. going forward for whatever uh, we, the country will be busy with? Absolutely. Looking at a, a life cycle of, of an asset or infrastructure holistically, uh, taking in a sustainable view on our infrastructure requires that we look at uh, greener, more sustainable uh, technologies uh, in the water sector like desalination, in the power sector like renewables that was mentioned last night as well. That will be critical um, uh, given our limited resources as well at the moment. Would you say therefore that there was a bit of pragmatism in practical coming up from, uh, from the president last night in terms of infrastructure development? Are we on the right track or if there were red lights what would they be? We are certainly on the right track, and it is about providing new infrastructure. But as I said earlier, it must be married by maintaining the current infrastructure, and that's where uh, a lot more focus needs to be as well. And uh, as mentioned earlier, the technology is there to enable that. Uh, we are currently developing extensively with partners and governments around the world uh, what we call digital replicas or digital twins. And what they enable, they enable decision makers to test the impact of their decisions before, uh, in a controlled environment before they implement them in the real world. This provides opportunity for scenario planning, for what-if situation assessments. It compounds our operation and maintenance, in maintenance efficiencies. We can even do predictive maintenance before things break, before and I think we that's have very, And I think that's very important, Sheila, because also with the impact of climate change and extreme weather conditions, as you plan your future infrastructure, you have to take in so many factors into play. Thank you very much for your time and then your insights. That's uh, Sheila Carvalho. She is the director of Royal Haskonen, DHV, sharing some of her views about what came out of the president's speech, the State of the Nation address last night, in terms of much-needed infrastructure development. Look up after what you have currently by maintaining it properly, repairing it, maximizing it, use technology going forward and build on a sustainable basis. Now,